Hey everyone, Cosmos here from Dolly Games. In this video, I'm going to be showing a different strategy uh, using arcane power to do double um, AoE attack in uh, Titan Temple or anywhere else, uh, but basically anywhere where you would benefit from doing two times AoE one after another, which would normally not be possible. So for this, I'm gonna switch over to my Battle Oracle. Um, in case he survives, he can cast Damnation. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And for Sylph, I'm gonna take... Um, I showed Thor before, so I'm gonna take Odin uh, this time. This other one. And um, then we are going to jump on over to the Outlands. and to go to the titan temple then in skills we need to set a rage rune uh, for our active uh, for our active rune of course i always keep the healing rune on so we basically have one one choice of runes would be cool if there was another choice but basically the rage rune is going to come right in the front and uh, that's the one who is uh, which is going to activate the titan so we're gonna go to Titans and we're gonna set Arcane Power. Oh, uh, one quick comment on Iron Will. So uh, some of you made a comment uh, about me n uh, unnecessarily using Iron Will because uh, the if you have uh, seven uh, Titans, you get Awakening Points. That's true and that was coming from my uh, old um, kind of already programmed behavior uh, before I had seven titans so I had done it so many times that it, it kind of became programmed for me to, to use the iron will so now I have to unlearn using it and, and continuously remind myself to stop using it <laughs> so um, anyhow so we're coming back to arcane power so we're gonna set that as slot one we're gonna start immediately with a rage rune which will activate the arcane power at least that's the that's the logic and then after that, it, we're gonna hit with Whirlwind or Spin Attack. And uh, then because of Arcane Power, we should be able to do it again. There is only one exception that it doesn't always work. And, and um, from the comment, I saw that uh, the explanation was that if, they, uh, if the enemy team debuffs you right after the Arcane Power, then the Arcane Power won't work. So we're gonna see, I tested this already, was it yesterday or uh, I, I can't remember and uh, I'd say 50% of the time it worked. So uh, maybe we'll be better in, in this video. So a uh, Rage Rune, Spin Attack, that's the plan for the skills. Now for the Titans, what else do I have there? So of course then I want to have the Celestial Strength. So I'm not going to use the Moon Guardian to protect the Bell Oracle anymore, so he's probably going to die. And uh, what else could be interesting? So we have, um, I don't, well, Guardian can come in here because if I fail, then uh, they will kill me. So Guardian is not a bad idea. And then uh, why do I need just Rhoda? I don't need. I, that was, I was using that for some something else. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. I was doing time portal. I think. Um. Anyways. So. Um. Let's see what else is useful. We don't need that. We don't need what's that? Decreased damage received. Nah. Not so much. Not so much. We, we can take a uh, pin of life then. Do something like that, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of don't care about the, the rest. So I only care about the first two titans. Uh, so it's going to be arcane power and celestial strength. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I might die, but okay. So we're going to give uh, a sylph to this guy uh, to help him survive a little bit, if that's possible. So, I think I got everything set, skills are set, sylphs are set, titans are set, okay, let's go. I always forget something, that's why I'm double triple checking things. So I have to teach myself to start reusing the rage rune, because my finger is already going on the, on the gash attack. Alright, so that, that movement that he did that was the arcane titan, you don't actually see any icon of it and the only way we will know if it works if, if the, is if the spin attack is available right now. And it's not. 
So that's not good. So I'm gonna go to Sylph mode instead. So that was an example. They they put damnation on me. So um, that must have that that must have killed the Arcane Titan. Okay. So that was an example then of it not working. So let's try another battle. Well, but when it works, it's beautiful because you you manage to kill the enemy straight away. So there is the rage rune. There is his movement. Here is my spin attack. They all here is some debuff from them. So maybe I have to do it on the second turn and not the first one. Oh no, this one worked. God knows why. So this debuff didn't do anything. So now I can do the second uh, spin attack together with the um, increased crit damage. And that way I uh, you manage to kill them at the time when they're the weakest. They don't have any buffs, any, any nothing is on, uh, no, no chance to heal. So let's let's give it another shot. So it's getting harder on three. So as you go higher it gets harder normally. Alright, so there's the rage rune, there is his swing, and there is the spin attack. So now I'm just waiting to see if the spin attack will be uh, active to use for the second time i hope it is if it's not we go to self mode yeah it is so we're gonna do second spin attack but they look pretty healthy to me so the pr they're probably not gonna die okay that was good Ah, it's because the Celestial kicked in, and, and with Celestial, the, so the second spin attack is, is gonna hit them harder. The first one is just normal, without any buffs. Alright, with that in mind, let's switch to Thor, because uh, Thor will give me, uh, from his passives, he'll give me 5% extra damage. So even if he's not activated, he'll make my spin attack stronger. And every bit counts, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Let's see if we can kill stage four right at the start with two AOEs. Of course, it also matters if the if the Bell Oracle survives, because then uh, that domination will greatly help. He made it good. Let's see if the second spin attack is available. I hope it is. No, this one failed. Oh no, it became available a second after I clicked on um, self. So maybe I have to give it a second. But as you see, they beat me up because I have like no defenses. Well, that's okay. We're gonna uh, go to Vulcan, although I lost the Celestial. We're gonna power up and hit him with Deadly Kiss, hopefully that helps. I got all kind of uh, protection on me now, so they shouldn't kill me. And hopefully I kill them. Full health, and still a bit of Moon Guardian left to protect me. Okay, that did not kill them. That's not good. Because my Thor is weak and I am... My defenses are weak in this form. Oh, and they healed on top of that. So let's kill one of them just for fun. I think they'll kill me. Alright. What else can we do? What else can we do? Oh no! Oh no, this worked out really badly. That's okay. Okay, so they're all happy because they won. So I'm gonna try to give it one extra second of wait for that second uh, spin attack. So I have to do Rage Rune. There's that swing, there's the spin attack. That guy is going to get healed, unfortunately. Oh no, the Bell Oracle killed it with Damnation. The heal went bust. Okay, so I'm not going to touch Sylph, Sylph mode so fast. Let's wait after this spin attack. 
no it didn't work as you can see it's counting down so that's not good let's hope the mages don't block me from awakening I should be able to kill them so I'd say this this is more dangerous but for for people who are interested in trying out different strategies um, it's definitely fun because if it works you take them out right in the beginning uh, which is always easier and that was a strong one good good All right, we're gonna do the same for the, the, the most difficult stage. And then uh, after this, let's experiment on putting it on the next slot, so not, not right at the beginning. Because they seem to take it out. Yeah, it's also not available. So all those buffs, uh, debuffs they're putting, it's it's messing with the Titan. So let's guess that on the second turn, um, if they don't cast any any debuffs, could work better. We're gonna test it right after. Hopefully, I win though. The Titan healing should come in, so that's why I didn't use a heal room. A lot of healing there at full health. But they did not take the Thor Blast. I'm actually happy about that. Because then I would have to redo this difficult stage. And I'd prefer to test out a different uh, position for you guys. The witch is alive and she's gonna heal and heal and heal and I got no skills to kill her so we're gonna have to do an auto attack or I could just use uh, Titan Wrath yeah, let's do it for fun die heal that by the way don't use that if they got some shields on like from Frigga um, it doesn't kill them sometimes so only use it uh, when they have no protections Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch a route somehow. So we're gonna have to move that forward because that just didn't work. So we're gonna bring the moon forward. That'll help uh, protect the Bell Oracle. We're gonna get. We're gonna try to do the arcane power after. Something like this, and then um, should I use a rage rune or not? So we're gonna do a slash. And this is gonna come on. I'm actually gonna move it even further. Alright, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this. So we're not gonna heal. We're gonna go even one further. We're gonna put just a road to increase our maxes. Then I'm gonna use the. So we're, I'm gonna hit, hit them with a gash. And immediately and then this is gonna come on then I'm gonna use a rage rune then this is gonna come on um, yeah that doesn't work that doesn't work so you're out you come back in after the rage rune this is gonna come on but that's too early that's too early hmm but let's try it Let's try it. I don't care about the rest. Let's try like this. So I'm gonna change change a little bit and do Gash first and immediately followed by a Rage Rune. So this will activate the Moon. And then we're gonna do Rage Rune. Oh, I thought he would manage to do Rage Rune in the same turn and that's why I was worried. If, if you don't have lag, he should have normally done uh, the rage run at the same in the same turn. All right, let's see if if the um, arcane titan works in this turn. 
yeah it works but it could have been by luck so we're gonna test it again Okay, so I, I got just one attempt left, so this is gonna be the last test. And if the rage rune would fail on the first one, in that case, let's completely remove it. But then I'll do everything in the first turn. I don't wanna do it in the first turn, so I have to skip it, okay. So we'll do like that, we'll do like that, we'll do like that. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna on purpose not do it fast so that for sure the rage run doesn't work in the first turn. So I'm gonna do regular gash or slash or whatever you have. Just the first skill. I'm gonna wait a second. Wait. And then we're gonna hit the rage runes after their attacks. And the rage run will activate the arcane power. Hopefully, no other debuffs will come in. And here I'm gonna try to do a spin attack. Let's see if they can disable the arcane power on this turn. I mean, it's all by luck, but I don't see any debuffs from from uh, from the will powers or your demons, so it should be okay. So one, yep, it's ready. So we can go again. But something is weird there. Two. And then we can go to self mode and the uh, awakening itself does damage also. So I'd say it's fun, but I'd say it's risky. But if you are failing, it's definitely something to try. There you go. And also the rage rune is only for me or, or people like me who cannot do two a AoEs straight, straight, straight away. Because my AoE is actually very expensive, it is at 80 rage, so you really need a lot, almost max. Not not 160, because you get of course some rage back from, from the attack itself, but I think archers or mages can do this easily without a rage rune. And then instead of the rage rune, um, they can use brutality, which is which would boost uh, their... Uh, both of their AOEs actually because brutality lasts for two turns so if you use brutality and then uh, which will activate the arcane power and then you do AOE AOE you're gonna get two times brutality with AOE so that's uh, that's pretty interesting I think so for knights I'd say it's dangerous for archers and mages it's something to consider I think so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this strategy was interesting. Thanks to uh, the anonymous person who shared that on, on my blog comments. Uh, and uh, I hope you um, enjoyed that I made a video out of it. <laughs> so there you go. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do click on like and subscribe. Please consider to support uh, my work by becoming patrons. And all the links are in the description of the video. The blog is at Um The... Um, if you want to play short games, it's at dollygames.com, and if you want to um, play, become Patreon, it's at uh, patreon.com slash dollygames. But like I <coughs> sorry, <laughs> something got in my throat, talking too long. So um, like I mentioned, all the links are in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, and have a very nice day.